Okay, let's try the next algebra part here. The first thing's a third equation, and it's all set up very nicely because it's got the third part all isolated. So all you got to do is square both sides. When you square a square root, it turns into 2x minus 1 there. Get, get rid of the square root. And 2 minus x squared is, there it is, 4 minus 4x plus x squared. And then you just um, put it in standard form. Add 1 and take away 2x. You get x squared minus 6x plus 5. Factor it. Put down two brackets. Minus 1 times minus 5 is plus 5. There's your minus x minus 5x. That gives you the minus 6x. You're looking at x being 1 or 5. Now the next question takes a little bit of um, skill. Let's just see what we can do here. Um, see this 3 to the x, this 3 to the x? It's the same in both. It's kind of a common factor. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to do the check. I see here, you got to try both um, numbers, 1 and 5. If you put 1 in to the original thing, it works. The square root of 2 times 1 minus 1 equals 2 minus 1. But if you put 5 in, the square root of 2 times 5 minus 1 doesn't equal 2 minus 5. So the only answer is x equals 1. Don't forget to check. He, uh, I forgot to check there. Now, 3 to the x is in both of these things. And you write, instead of writing it as 3 to the x plus 1, write it as 3 to the x times 3 to the 1. Now you can see the common factor that we bring to the outside. 3 to the x times 7, 3 to the x times minus 3. Oh, look at this. 7 minus 3 is 4. Divide both sides. Now we get 3 to the x equals 9. And I don't have to even write it out. I know that 3 squared is 9, so x must equal 2. And there you go.